Me and my wife have decided to go back to my home islands, Sangiha, for holiday. It is just so exciting for us to again explore the beauty of Sangiha Islands. On this trip, we have the purpose to introduce the prospect of ecotourism in Sangiha. So, how do you think? Very impressive. Okay, what's kind of impressive you mean? Uh, I mean the energy. Mm -hmm. The it's energy, so yeah? Confident when singing. Uh -huh. And proud to showing it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sangiha is one of the most unspoiled areas. And the tourism sector in Sangiha Islands has not been developed as expected yet. However, the outline that I will present is from the perspective of Tahuna Bay. Tahuna is the capital of Sangye Islands Regency. Tahuna is also the entrance for Sangye Regency. And therefore, potentially the center point of all tourist activity in Sangye. Because from this city come all of your preparations, accommodation and reservation. From the economic matters, Tahuna is relying on trading. 
beside fishing and agriculture like the rest of Sangiha. Life in the capital also motivates people to adapt to live together with residents who come from various cities in Indonesia. But it does not mean that the Sangiha ethnicity should be forgotten. Since the Sangiha ancestors time, the people of Sangiha has appreciated the social life, which is known as to live in mutual help or mutawam, supporting each other or mutatondo munara, love to sing while sailing or masambo, even singing while saving the coconut for make coconut oil or mutalumpang and so much more.